welcome to Valnor Arcais, uh, the first stop on the 2016 Swatch Free Ride World Tour. Here with one of the uh, elite members of the judging panel, he's Mr. Bertie Denervo. It's been a tough day to organize. The conditions were hard, so to put a your best in these type of conditions it demands great commitment and we saw great commitment today. We saw something special today because this venue allowed every style to express itself. We saw fast runs, we saw freestyle tricks, we saw big cliffs, we saw multiple jumps. So I think everybody had a chance with their own strength to show what they can do today. It certainly was a fantastic day of riding here in Valnor Arcalis. We've been joined by Marion Erti from France, and this is her first ever event on the Swatch Free Ride World Tour. Uh, it was really a good day for me. Um, I got a lot of fun. I enjoyed my line, it was super funny. Even if just two meters before the finish line, uh, I was super stupid because I was super happy like this, and I fall just two meters before the line, but that's the game. <laughs> Marion was one of many rookies who performed well today. Every single podium basically had at least one rookie on the podium. Well, I believe there might be two explanations. Number one, there's a fierce battle to qualify for the World Tour. There's 2,000 athletes worldwide trying to qualify. So those who actually do make it to the Tour are fierce competitors. They're rookies on the tour, but they've been fighting hard to get here. So there's a strong level within these rookies. And number two, there were tricky conditions today. And maybe the more experienced riders know the season is long and you don't want to risk too much on the day one. So I believe the rookies were here to prove that they belong to that tour. And the older rider maybe took it too conservative today. We're here now with Jeremy Heights, who finished up second in the men's ski category today here in Val Nord. Jeremy, tell us about your day on the mountain. Uh, that was my plan to go straight to that uh, cliff. The snowboarder took away the, the snow. I directly see that was grass. So if you go fast on the grass, it doesn't stop you. So that was my plan. I finished in one piece, so that was my goal today. How does it feel for you to be so close to winning one of these things, but always seeming to be stopped by somebody who just has an even more amazing run. It's a normal feeling for me. <laughs> no, that's maybe my problem. Too obvious line. I can ski fast those lines, but maybe I should uh, take more risk. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. And thank you for joining us here on the Swatch Freeride World Tour. That's a wrap for the first event here in the Pyrenees. Off to the Alps for two stops in Chamonix Mont Blanc and then Fieber Brune. After that, we fly halfway across the world to Alaska. And then, of course, back to Verbier, Switzerland for the granddaddy of them all, the Extreme Verbier. It's going to be a great season on the Swatch Freeride World Tour in 2016.